Today morning, a friend and I were discussing programming languages. He mostly works with C Sharp, I mostly work with JavaScript. We were comparing more old languages, more modern languages, like support of the languages and etc. And I was thinking if I would come back and start over, what the programming language I would choose right now on 2024. Here are some things that usually people consider while choosing programming language. If you already know some basics, you would like choose between functional programming languages or OOP programming languages or some mix. Would you consider to work as a mobile developer, like game developer, web developer, front-end or back-end? But there is a one thing that no one like usually consider. And in this video, I will also talk about the third point. And at the end of the video, I will tell you, in my opinion, what is the best programming language to learn on 2024. I'm Hovannas and I work as a lead software engineer. And I also work as a technical interviewer. So I run a lot of technical interviews. So you learn the programming language and what is the next thing that you will do is to find a job in some corporation but why to learn with experienced developers to learn more to gain an experience to build a strong professional network management knowledge experience in building a product from scratch insights into delivering a product understanding of potential issues even if you plan to build your billion dollar company, it is good practice to work on some companies to gain an experience. Because the most of billion dollar startup founders, they came from big tech companies. And I'm coming closer to the third point. The third point when you want to choose a programming language, you should also focus on a type of company that you want to work. Let's split the type of tech companies into three categories. Startup, small and medium enterprise companies and big tech companies. Now let's understand the tech stack of each category. Startups are usually using JavaScript or Python because it's quick to develop applications and what is the important in startup is to make it faster, show the progress to rise an investment. And it is also cheap. For example, if you have a web application and you need a backend and frontend engineer, if you will hire a JavaScript developer for your frontend application and you will hire a, like Java developer for your backend application. So it means like you hire two developers or developer that know Java and JavaScript it's more expensive to hire him because he already know two programming languages but if you hire a full stack javascript developer so he know only a single language probably and he can work on front end and the back end side that because startups usually are hiring like full stack software engineers the second one is small or medium sized companies i will split these companies into two categories outsourcing and product companies outsourcings are usually very mixed they will hire each type of developer that knows very like different programming languages to just help to their clients to solve their problems for example they will hire javascript php java c sharp like c plus plus probably knowing different programming language you can find a job into an outsourcing company the second type product companies mostly they have limited stake are discussing with a friend so if you know like java and c sharp most probably you will work on some financial company because you will get more offers from banks from vintage companies and they probably will pay you more so the product companies are more limited in tech stack they can use like two three programming languages and the third category is large it corporations like facebook amazon google apple so they have very huge tech stack for example in meta they use python php c javascript erlang hack yes hack also is a programming language it was developed by meta it is like developed from PHP. And to get hired at these companies, you should have solid knowledge about like data structures and algorithm. They usually hire engineers that knows like a few programming languages. If you will check Google positions, like you will see they don't require only a single programming language in their descriptions. There are usually a few programming languages. So now conclusion, what is the best programming language to learn in 2022? My answer is there is not the best programming language. It depends on how do you want to work, 
what do you want to build and on what company what type of company do you want to work consider it very seriously because it is very important you can spend your five even ten years of your life before creating your billion dollar startup working on such kind of companies and it should be interesting for you so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video put likes and subscribe to my channel also you can follow me on social networks so see you on the next video